Next up, we've got our next three contestants on the startup competition. And Patrick is here. What do you say, Patrick? Get his mic on. Oh, oh try again. You want to want to share? Yeah, that that's a lot better. Is that so, mic working? Yeah, it's working. Okay. Um, yeah, we, we uh, a long time ago we were very intimate together. So I thought we were still intimate. <laughs> yeah, you know, different. Well, that's why I'm standing here. You can stand there. Okay. Yeah. Stay, Stay away from me, man. Watch it. Um, first of, uh, I'd like to ask uh, the judges to come up. Uh, Brian, Jose, Marin, and uh, Sergey, please come up. And um, do you want do you want me to join? Or you got three. I got three, but if if you want to join. Happy to. Hey, have a seat, man. You right. have oh, I can have a You've seat? been working all day. So. All right. I'm going to sit. Hello. Hello, guys. Hello, Jose. So, uh, Jose, uh, we, we've seen you before today on stage, but not as a judge. So, what is your expectation of this uh, session? Very high expectations from the great Ukrainian entrepreneurs. Okay. And uh, are we going to see a new a new uh, company that you want to invest in, you think? Well, I think potentially could be. If they think big, if they have a proven model that they are trying to replicate, that could potentially fit in what we do. Okay, let's, let's start. So we have three pitches for you. And um, I'm gonna, going to, uh, to tell you who they are. Uh, we have three different uh, companies from three different countries. And the first one is from Ukraine. So if you're from Ukraine, give them a hand. Notify, motify me. Please guys, come to the stage. Motify me from Ukraine. Guys, you got five minutes, good luck. Is it working? Okay, can you hear me well? Come on, come on, come on. This is the startup from Ukraine. So, uh, hi, my name is Yuri and this is Dennis and Bogdan. We're representing Motify.me, a startup that helps people achieve their goals. Please raise your hands here, everybody, if you have a dream. Don't be shy, lose weight, quit smoking, build a startup or invest into a startup. Uh, I'm glad th to see so many hands here because this means that you are our customers. Because what we do is helping you achieve your goals. And you, I guess, are interested how these guys are going to do that. Uh, so, you might be surprised, but there's about a hundred typical dreams that most of people are trying to achieve. Uh, but on the other hand, there's three typical barriers that block us from achieving them. First one is uh, lack of motivation. You probably know what to do, but you are afraid or un unconcerned to make the first step. Second is, you just don't know what to dream about. And the third one, you, you know what to do, but you don't see an action plan. If somebody told you what to do, probably you would, you would do and achieve a dream. So, uh, let me show you how our service addresses these issues. So, imagine a guy who's been working as a software development for an outsourcing company and he's, uh, he desperately wants to build a startup of his dream. And... Uh, He's like, I'm a good technical guy, but I do not know how to start and uh, develop businesses. So he comes to the Motify.me website, and he finds, he finds his dream in the catalog. Yeah. And he sees the dream, start your own business. He opens, this, he opens the dream, and what he sees is a three or more uh, like methods to succeed. Think of method as an of an action plan that consists of small baby steps that are easy and achievable. So, uh, he, the guy adds this dream to his dashboard, or dream board, how we call it, and uh, he can track all of his dreams there, and you know, this is an ins inspiring and, and motivating. Uh, so, um, w when it comes to motivation, I'll passing the word to my friend Dennis, who will tell you more about this and more about the business as well. Thank you. Can you hear me? Okay, so there will be a range of uh, features on the website that will keep your motivation high along the way. First of all, you will be able to post your goal 
to Facebook to get support and encouragement from your friends and maybe advice. You will also be able to uh, complete those baby steps to success and see your progress bar uh, progress that will keep you pushing and uh, achieving uh, the goal. Uh, next uh, is uh, the actual achievement of the goal. You will be rewarded for this with points and badges. And uh, most importantly, we will offer the services of uh, life coaches on the, on the website. They will become your goal partners. They will provide you motivation uh, as additional service. And of course, this additional service is paid for. Of course, this additional service is paid for and it will be our primary revenue source. We also plan to sell other adjustments products and services. If you want to jump with a parachute, we can sell you a parachute or a gift card you know, for a jump. In the future, we will also build a paid mobile app to complement the desktop version of uh, the system. Uh, we are in a large and growing self-improvement market. It has been for many years. There are many competitors, but there are two competitive advantages. First is uh, when you select a goal, the system will automatically suggest the steps for it. And then life coaches is also something that differentiates us from other services. We're a team of five. Uh, we have a great mix of talents, competence, and experience. Uh, Motify.me is funded by Eastlab Startup uh, Accelerator, but we are uh, looking for the next round. So if you're interested, please do stop by by our booth and we'll talk about it. And we also have a partner in subject area. It is uh, Itzhak Pintisevich. He is a famous local uh, coach with uh, thousands of followers, about 20,000 on Facebook. And he promised to provide his uh, uh, people as uh, early adopters for the website. So don't let your dreams, uh, dreams slip away. Register at metify.me and start achieving them today. Thank you very much. So, um, Sergey, do you have a dream? No. No, I, I thought so. But, but I have a question. <laughs> yeah, that's very good. <coughs> it's What's almost your like a dream. So, uh, my question is, why would your business fail? What will cause it to fail? Uh, well, might fail. Okay, well, of course, um, like I said, the competition is tight. And right now we, you know, we have all those assumptions that we talked about. But we are really early stage. And uh, if we can validate those assumptions, that we will definitely you know, persevere and grow. Uh, but what causes us to grade is we don't find confirmation of our assumptions that we need to do something about it. That's one of the reasons that we could not you know, proceed as quickly as we want. Jose. So how, how are you basically thinking about the unit economics? I mean, run us very quickly through that. I mean, how much it costs you to get a new coach? What are the economics you make per coach? I mean, I don't know what type of traction you have. You seem to be early stage, but if you can share any of that, it would be very useful. Well, we cannot disclose the exact terms that we agreed upon. And um, our current arrangements is that we have several dedicated coaches that will be helping the users of our system. And there are about 200 total available. And, um, you know, and this is, this, these are the coaches we already have access to, so we don't really um, had a chance to calculate the, the cost of acquiring the new ones. So we have not built the sales funnel yet. We just launched the website yesterday pretty much, so the traction is on the way. So you, you launched yesterday, how many signups did you get? Uh, let me answer that. So uh, the trick is, uh, despite we launched yesterday, we have uh, already a user base of some uh, 150 users already. It's not during the day, but uh, during some two months period before when we just had a form where users, the website was a video and the form where users were leaving their dreams with emails. So. We just didn't have even a time to noti notify them that they are already our users, and we launched in something. Okay. I think it's pretty a uh, difficult market, but maybe maybe there's a, one of the jury members who can give a, a tip or, uh, yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, God. So one of the things I was thinking about, so all of us have dreams. Is the system going to enable our friends to help us succeed with our dreams, or is it a private motivation system? Uh, think of it as of Wikipedia of experience. So uh, the content is crowdsourced, and um, if you do not find the method that suits you personally, you're creating the own one, your own one. And uh, what uh, your friends has to do with that is they just commenting and don't letting you stuck in the middle of the process. So, so the goal is to have the friends help you reach your dreams. Uh, yes. So therefore you get more users. Right, like a vi viral effect. So I would suggest in the presentation adding that as one of the key aspects because everybody wants to help each other get their dreams because I, it wasn't clear in the presentation. Thanks, we'll, we'll keep it about that. Jose, another question? Yes, the other thing I would like to hear is how are you thinking about how big this business can get and why? I mean, what's the market, other comparables, what people are doing in other places, how big it can get? Internal discussion here. No, no. <laughs> uh, what you're asking say is say 100 billion. <laughs> what you're asking is how we will get uh, people from the market to, to use the service. No, I'm asking two things. I'm asking what type of services comparable to what you do exist somewhere else? How big they are? How successful they are? Question number one. Question number two. How big do you think this can get, and why? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, there are about 40 players that we know of. We have this huge matrix. And all of them target different areas of knowledge and um, motivation, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So um, we are different in the two aspects that I mentioned, but the it, you know the competition is really tight in this area. Even though the market size is not huge yet, it is growing. The trend of the market is to move from offline services to online. I think I think Jose is asking, like, how much is the number one in the market worth? That's his first question. Okay. His okay. We, question we, we, is we have much? some figures. Yeah. For example, WikiHow, which we asked permission to get some content from initially. That's a Silicon Valley uh, business. It is in top uh, 500 uh, most visited website in the world. So they have about 80, 80,000 articles on, on the steps to take. Then, uh, so they focus on knowledge. And 43 Threens, for example, they have uh, 4 million people in their community. You know, talking about um, you know their goals, etc. But they do not offer you know specific steps. So we want to create a blue ocean of merging you know the best things from both worlds. Okay, I wish you guys good luck. And um, well, you're only one day old, uh, as we can say. So you you were born yesterday, and uh, let's hope uh, you'll become the new Lady Gaga of uh, uh, online education. Thank you um, for the opportunity. Thank to you pitch. very much. Give them a hand from Ukraine. Motify me.